Hey everybody, welcome back to the Science of Golf Performance mini series. I'm Tyler and this is Jordan and today we're gonna to talk about a few slam ball exercises. So I've got a slam ball right here and they're really cool because when they hit the ground, hey, they don't bounce anywhere. We're gonna talk about using the slam ball to create power. So Jordan's gonna take us through a couple of exercises or I'm gonna talk him through a couple of exercises. First one's gonna be working on vertical power. This is just a straight up overhead slam. So he's first gonna load the ball in right in front of his hips. He's gonna extend up, get nice and tall right up overhead, and then be as aggressive as possible with max intent to slam that ball down on the ground. So we'll do another rep here. Good, so this exercise here is working his vertical power. Okay. The next exercise following this is gonna work a combination of some rotational, horizontal, and vertical power. So it's a little bit of a mix of everything, primarily working the rotational component. Hey, he's gonna pick up the ball. This is called the transverse slam. So he's gonna load it on one side hip. And then from there, he's gonna wind it up and then rotate it around and slam it to the opposite side. So you can see the rotational component here. Big thing here is he's thinking about his sequencing. Hey, he's loading that opposite side. So this rep here, he's gonna load his left foot. He's gonna squat back into it and he's gonna transfer that load over to the opposite side. So that's transverse slam. The last one, we're gonna go back to a little bit more vertical power development. This one's gonna be called a caveman throw. Um, what we're working on here is a hip hinge. So he's gonna pick up his slam ball, okay, stand up nice and tall, unlock his knees. He's gonna hinge himself back. See, think about he's pulling a rubber band. Okay, pulling get tension on the rubber band right now. And then he's gonna let go real quick and throw that ball straight up overhead. Very good. So what he's doing there is he's creating vertical power through his knees, hips, and ankles into vertical extension. He's going to do one more right here to demonstrate this. Hey, okay. Once again, pull back the rubber band, feel the stretch back in his hamstrings, and then extend back and let it go. Hey, okay. So there's three exercises for you to create power with a slam ball. Slam balls are really cool like we talked about. If you haven't checked out um, the round table discussion, they're very durable. They, they come in multiple different weights and sizes. And remember, you're thinking about completing these exercises with max intent with low volume. I hope everybody found this video helpful and resourceful. If you did, please share and like, and be sure to join us on the next episode.